Boris, for you, uh, what was it like coming over to England filming? I mean, hopefully the people of Norwich gave you a very warm welcome. Uh, yeah, I had, a, I had a great time working on this there. Norwich was a great community. I think they chose this, David chose this amazing setting for this uh, snowball fight. And uh, you could kind of feel like a bit of like the ancient past, like, and our universe was coming together with this modern tale. And it was, uh, it was quite special. I don't know if any of you know this, maybe Mr. Tal Mr. David E. Talbert, the director does, but when I, when I was in London, I ate every couple hours. I lost five teeth in the five months that we were there. So <laughs> I grew like enormously during that time. And it feels like it's been so long since we shot it. And my mom and I were like, ah, when's it gonna come out? You know, we're ready to see it already. So um, yeah, it's very exciting and I'm excited for everyone to see it. David, you've obviously, created some magic on stage throughout your incredible career um how does it feel at the moment during the pandemic seeing all these places locked up and uh sort of people having to think of other ways to entertain themselves you know it's heartbreaking uh in a sense because there's so much joy that people get you know from a community experience in the, either the, the movie theaters or the, the broadway theaters or you know it's so much joy you get from a connective community spirit you know so it's uh so for me this film is important because it'll 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 give you like a little uh a balm it'll remind you of, of why you love that so much why you love the performing arts so much why you love going to concerts and singing the wrong notes and the wrong <laughs> lyrics and songs but doing it together so i'm hoping that the, the film will remind you that you can you can find the joy again and that the joy is there's a path to that again. So we practiced for quite a long time, um, a couple months and uh, and a full month of just rehearsing almost every day with the dancers. But and it's really great because the most magical part is you leave this empty warehouse with tape all over the floor and everybody's running around in their sweats. And then you walk over one day to the set and 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 it's it's just you kind of the possibilities start bubbling out of your mind you just go oh my god are we going to do this and is he going to flip around that thing and then on top of that everyone gets into wardrobe and wow. it was just spectacular to watch to watch the dance and uh, i had mentioned before ricky was that just the dancers were so professional and so warm and loving and giving that when you do a move like running off the stage and diving into their arms you feel completely safe completely safe and uh, it was really a dream because I, I used to watch a lot of musicals when I was a kid. I hadn't done a musical since high school. And, uh, and so to be able to be, be trusted to do this choreography and you're going to sing the song over here. And then it, it was, it, I just loved every second of it. It was really wonderful. And to watch them do their craft, to watch a dancer do their craft is something that always uplifts my heart. I really enjoy dance quite a lot. So it was a lot of fun. And Ricky, could you talk about um, doing some mocap as a 12 inch tall matador? I don't think you ever expected <laughs> your role you'd be taking on. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, it was as excited as, as, as Keegan because I, you see that event that he's talking about, I missed completely. I was in LA, I was not invited to that party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it, it was exciting. It was, it was different for me. I was, you know, I've been able to act in the past, but not like that. This this twelve inch uh, Don Juan Diego ruled my life for the last I would say year because I started I started recording and working on this character um, more than a year ago and uh, and once again to be able to be part of this such an important story is it's it's to work with Netflix to work with such an incredible actors to tell such a beautiful story a story that everybody's gonna be watching forever I would say. It's, uh, it's, it's about growing, growing as an actor, growing as an entertainer. And this was a very beautiful platform that I'm sure I will be, will be grateful. Yeah. I, I'm excited about people seeing, I'm excited about people hearing Anika. Mm -hmm. And I'm <laughs> excited about people meeting Madeline. I'm very oh. excited about that. Along with the visual grandeur of it all. You know, when we were doing the end and we were all flying around and David's kind of directing us to go and the, the community's coming together and, and it's like, welcome to the world of wishes and wonder, you know? Uh, I thought it was exciting. It was a, it was a special moment. There was, there was many special moments, but that was one that was, that was there for me as well. 
it's magic. This this production is magic. Every scene is magic. Well, if you, the dancing, the music, mm. the acting was so beautifully written, and uh, and it's so relevant to everything that's happening. It's a story about magic. It's a, a story about possibilities, and uh, and and for me, every scene had a moment of a very touching moment. I had a lot of issues in in my first line. It is I, Maestro Don Juan Diego. I had issues with my personality, with my identity. I went over and over. <laughs> it is I, Maestro Don. No, no, no. He's more cocky than this. Come on. It is I. And that was the one that I get a little bit upset with, but the rest flowed pretty, pretty smoothly, I would say. And uh, David, I mean, I mean, obviously you've still got the whole film to get through, but do you think there's a, a stage life ready for Jingle Jangle, you know, one day oh. on Broadway? Absolutely. I'm trying to talk Forrest into coming in, you know, and and, and uh, debuting it as Jeronica's Jangle on. But absolutely. I mean, it screams for it. It 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 it, it feels like it's a natural, you know, kind of uh, path for it. And um, I can see it very easily uh, being on the stage and people watching it as a perennial holiday classic. Well, I, I'll be the first person there on first preview. Uh, come on with it. Come on with it.